Hello and welcome to Sikiho. This island is famous for its unique witchcraft culture as well as beautiful waterfalls and stunning beaches. As always, we're on a budget, we're backpacking, but we're trying to do as much as possible. So join the journey by hitting subscribe and let's explore Sikiho. All right, we've read a lot online about how to get from Mobile down to Siggy Hall. Quite difficult, to be honest. So we're gonna walk you through it. So come join us as we go from here, Mobile and Cebu, down to Siggy Hall Island. The journey is a bit of a headache, so strap in for this one. First, we got a 15 minute tricycle to the bus stop in Mobile for 150 pesos. We then hopped on a bus to Bato, which took us an hour and a half and cost us 112 pesos each. From Bato, you have to take a 15 minute, 150 pesos tricycle down to the port in Liloan. At the port, you can buy a ticket for 135 pesos, which will take you on a boat over to Sibulan on Negros Island. After arriving in Sibulan, we then took another tricycle, which took us to Demogeti City. Four of us shared a tricycle and the journey cost us 200 pesos in total. Once we arrived in Dumagesi, we bought a ticket for 240 pesos each for a boat that took us to Sikiho. The entire journey took us eight hours, so make sure that you check the boat schedules in advance if you choose to do this route. After getting the bike for 250 pesos a day, we were finally in the clear. Well, at least before we were. Uh, we are driving straight up a mountain in the dark to our accommodation. Good news is we got a bike. We haggled it down to a very decent price. Bad news is the guy we bought it from said two tourists drove off the edge of the cliff going to his hostel, so we're gonna take it very, very slowly. I trust you, Tash. Let's go to this hotel. Yeah, all good. Well, that's the best greeting I've ever had. Hello, lovelies. Wee. <laughs> yeah, well, let's check in. <laughs> Hello, good morning from Sikiho. We arrived yesterday on a boat and then another boat and then a tricycle and then another boat and now we're here and we are staying on top of the mountain. Here's Tash, getting ready for the day. You can probably tell by how ridiculous the door is already, but this is incredible. Just wait for this. Alright. Hello. Welcome to Sikiho. Look at this for a view. There we go. Gorgeous. That's the port there. That's one of the boats we probably came on last night. Hell of a view. We're ready? I don't think you're ready for this. Three, two, one. <laughs> right, we're staying in Hobbiton. <laughs> in Sikiho in the Philippines. This is literally a Lord of the Rings style accommodation. We got hobbit holes here. There's a little tree house up here. And yeah, this is the one we're staying in. The Inika. And honestly, I can't believe it. And it was really well priced actually. We're only paying 450 each a night. So like 800 and 900 a night. And that is completely worth it. I mean, <laughs> I've been playing Concerning Hobbits all morning. And the Lord of the Rings soundtrack to the company. It's been beautiful. But yeah, join us in Sikiho, it's going to be a fun one, we're going to do some exploring today and yeah, we're going to get on the road soon, so see you out there. Alright, we've driven down the road a little bit to where all these boats are. Check out the beach. Look at this. Very nice. Gonna have a little dip, I reckon. Cheeky little swim. I mean, with water like that, what else are you supposed to do? You do know you can walk, right? So much seagrass. You didn't look out. You do know you can stand up. You're making it a real struggle for yourself. How was the snorkel? It was nice. It was, was very it? um sea grassy. So I think there would be lots of turtles around here usually. But not right now when you saw But it. I didn't see any now. Right. Fair enough. Saw some fishies though, right? Some fishies and lots of really cool starfish. Very good. Yep. All right. Oh yeah, there you go, look, straight ahead, 300 meters away. All right, here we are everyone. As you can see, 
We're immediately very touristy. We are here at the old enchanted Belletti, Belletti tree. And 20 pays of entry. So this tree is very old. I'm sure we'll learn a bit more about it inside. So let's pay the fee and go in. All right, so here we are, our first glimpse of the big tree. It is very old. Apparently it's uh, about 400 years old. Not sure if it's got powers, like, because this is nicknamed the Witchcraft Island, but it looks like it's healing some people here. Because as you can see, inside the pool here, there are loads of little fishies. <laughs> and they're nibbling people's feet, so <laughs> we'll give that a go soon. And joining us, we have a friend from Shanghai, when I lived there three or four years ago. We got Danny. Hi. So we got Danny and Danny. Didi. Didi. Yeah. She's also here on holiday in the Philippines. We just bumped into each other, which is <laughs> ridiculous, but we're exploring the island today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> and Tash got a coconut. Yum. I keep forgetting not to give me a straw. 30 pesos. I'm forgetting to say. Oh, is it paper only? Is it? No. Oh, yeah, it is. Yay. Yeah. Cool. Not too 30 bad. 30 pesos. Cheap, cheap. Apologies, you have to see my feet here. Not apologies to the ones who are into that. But I'm going to start dipping. Ready? Three, two, one. You're not going to be able to handle it. It's so ticklish. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, I don't like it. That's so weird. <laughs> it's so ticklish. So oh my god, you got a big one, Nanny. <laughs> Come on, I don't like it. You can't handle it, can you? No. <laughs> Look how many I've got. I've got such callous feet. What the hell? Tash is getting devoured, eh? Yeah, I've got such callous right, feet. I'm having a 10 second break and go back in. <laughs> Did not expect that feeling. I've never done that before. <laughs> Here we are everyone, Power Sun Beach. Everyone's hanging out, chilling, having a beer. Very nice. And again, the water looks crystal clear. Oh. Paradise. It is paradise. A few little bars, restaurants as well to choose from. Yeah, not a bad little spot. To enter Palestine Beach, you have to pay a 20 peso environmental fee per person. It's one of the most popular places in Sikiho due to its powdery white sand beach and crystal clear water. As sunset approaches, the beach gets busier, but overall it's a great vibe and definitely a must visit place on the island. And there we are, hell of a sunset. Time to get some dinner, I think. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we are going fancy tonight everyone. We're going to Dolce Amore, an Italian restaurant. It's pizza time. This was one of the best pizzas I've had in Asia and they cost around 500 to 600 pesos each. After this treat, we rode back to our hobbit hole and called it a night. Good morning. We've just had second breakfast and we're heading towards Kambugahai Falls today. And it looks spectacular. It's about an hour drive away. Let's check out the mountain view before we go. And yeah, we're gonna meet my friend Danny again from yesterday and drive down there. So join us as we see what these waterfalls look like. It should be fun. All right, see you, Frodo. Hi, Bilbo. <laughs> Tash loves all of the rings. We paid 50 pesos each for entry, but that covers the whole day, so you can stay here from 8 a.m. to sunset if you want. And the swings? There are swings, that's the big one. Let's go down now. Right, here we are, though. here's the waterfall up close. Very pretty. I think <laughs> everyone's just having a great time. <laughs> I think we should have a go, don't you? Let's go. Right. Three legs up. Jump! Ooh. 
<laughs> All right, that costs 50 pesos for unlimited swings for the day. You need to pay the bloke up there and he'll uh, give you the pass, I guess. Then that is though, look at this. What are you doing? <laughs> The temperature of that water is gorgeous against the humidity and the heat of Sikiho and the Philippines in general. About 30 degrees today, humidity is high, so it's a relief. It's very nice. Did you have fun, Tash? Yeah. Yeah? Good like swim? You like the swim? You like the swing? It's really pretty. It is very pretty. Water is very clear, which we love to see. And there are little fishies in there very fresh water. All right, there we are. Lovely. One thing to note though, when you do finish at the waterfall is that uh, you got a very steep staircase to climb on the way out. There's quite a lot of steps, so don't tire yourself out too much. <laughs> Almost at the beach. Right, we are parked up. We're at Salagdun Beach, and it costs 50 pesos per person residents to come. Oh yeah, residents have to pay as well. Wow. And on top of that, 50 pesos it is 20 pesos to park your bike. Yeah, there we are. Just so you know. There we are. Salagdun Beach Resort. Let's go. Here we are. The beach is a uh, corally pebbly beach. They've set up a couple of jumps on this platform up here for you to jump into the water with and I think we're going to try it out first and foremost. Yeah, here we are. That's the beach, only little, but very nice. Oh yes, yeah, secure the shorts. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Sun's starting to go down and we want to catch sunset at our hobbit hut because the view is ridiculous and it's our last night there because we're moving combination tomorrow. So we're gonna head off, say bye bye to this beach, say bye bye to the jumps. Yeah, it's fun, it's a vibe, that's definitely for sure. Will we make it for sunset? The race is on! <laughs> Did we make it? Made it, boys. <laughs> and we've been welcomed back by the gang. Hello, Mama. Look how good Mama is. Mama and their kids. Hello. Oh. All right, time to bask in another sticky horse sunset. Yesterday, we're at the beach. Today, on top of the mountain. Look at the state of that. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Who on earth do you think you are? <laughs> No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Nope. Nope. Over the next couple of days, we worked, had a couple of nice drives, and ate some great vegetarian food. Stay tuned for a vegetarian food tour of the Philippines coming soon. Before we knew it, it was time to head back to the port and make our way to our next destination. Sikihor was a gorgeous island, which had a very relaxed feeling. The roads weren't too busy, the people were friendly, and there was lots to do. It's not really a party island, so if you want a place to relax and reset, then this is the perfect place in the Philippines for you. 